them come. This is their fate. Uh, the DualSense Edge controller. We cop it? That's that new, uh, that's the Xbox Series X um, controller. That's that new, um, that's that new Elite controller for the uh, DualSense. What's weird about this controller is they got, like, triggers in the front. I never understood. Well, I, I, I still don't get that design. Um, but, yeah, the DualSense was announced. They don't have a price. I don't know why they don't have a price. Um, maybe they skirt. You know why they got a price. <laughs> maybe they skirt. Maybe they a little skirt, man. I don't know. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> you think it's gonna be three hundred? I don't know, man. Because the elite is what, like, t the new elite is like two twenty or something like that. Yeah. And I feel like they PlayStation is maybe they put more features in it with like the the uh, the special rumble and and stuff like that. So. They definitely getting close to three hundred or more. Was the Elite controller your fav your first like uh controller that had like um customization options and back buttons and all that stuff? Was this like your first expensive controller you bought? Yeah, I would say it, it was my first expensive one because I didn't uh, buy the. I used the first Elite, but I didn't buy the first Elite. I bought the uh, the second one. Gotcha, gotcha. Jalen, have you ever bought a <laughs> have you ever bought a uh more than like even if it was even if it just was uh even if it was if it had like a cool feature. I remember um I bought like a bunch of them cheap afterglow ones where they like glow in the dark. <laughs> even though they were trash controllers, uh I thought they had like a cool gimmick to them. You ever bought like any uh I guess, Mad yeah, Mad Cats or whatever <laughs> type of controller. Mm -hmm. No, I had one that ain't work when I bought it. Ah. I did for like the PS2, but I, I got out of that quickly because they would always break. And Ooh. then you get to like the Wii generation where you got to get the Nintendo brand stuff. Otherwise, it's going to so, be <laughs> trash. The Wii, the Wii O Wii ain't going to work. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot I all that. about Mad Cats. Man, what happened to them kids? Like they merged or something like that, but I I bought a controller. Like, this is real quick. I had brought a controller to play Crash Bash, and this this one had analog sticks on it. Like this is before P PlayStation One had analog sticks for real for real. Uh -huh. And um, I remember that controller just didn't work. I was just like, bro, what is this? That mic did not work. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a, after there's that a I never messed with. Them. Yeah, there's a time where um, peripherals were were hit or miss. And you just had to deal with it. Um, I remember I hated when it when when game controllers used to get shortages in them, and you had to wrap the controller wrap it around the thing. I hated it with a passion, bro. But I was like, man, I gotta get it. I gotta get it how I live. I can't afford to get no. So uh, yeah, but this is my the Elite series is my second um, expensive controller. Um, I bought the Elite. The original Elite. Uh, and it still works. So it's not like these are terrible controllers to buy. Um, so, yeah. I still have that one. I haven't bought anything for the PlayStation. But I did mod my... Um, I remember telling you guys about this. I modded one of my PlayStation 5 controllers to put back buttons on them. And they metal now. So I really don't have a need for this. Like at some point I thought I was going to need it, but then I was like, I realized I don't play this console that often, not competitively. And I already own two nice controllers for my Xbox. And they're not going to stop me from playing these, using these controllers on my Xbox series, next generation, whatever the case may be, but PlayStation might. So I'm not going to invest, you know, that amount of money on a controller and obviously these controllers don't last forever but again i had that elite since i had that elite since the original my original xbox one and it still works uh no not my original xbox one the xbox um sorry the xbox one x and i think that was in 2017 if i'm not mistaken Regardless, it's been it's been a while. It's been with me for a while, and um, 
yeah. I mean, it's nice that you, to have like these types of controllers. I just don't think they're the style of controller that they have right now. Like the Dual Sense with all the mechanics inside of it is a durable controller. To be honest, I don't think it's the durable mm-hmm. controller. There's a lot of people already complaining about how these things break, how the battery isn't terrible, how how they have like drift on their sticks, and how sometimes it's like these con- real weird, weird. It's not. I haven't had a weird connectivity issue, but people have mentioned that. Like, I haven't seen that personally, nor do have I like seen that widespread. But there is like a lot of things that are going on with that controller that people are just don't like, and I, I don't want to spend that type of money, especially when I know there's not that many games that's going to recall for that mm-hmm. that I specifically play on that console. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I think the last time they got some money for peripherals like that was the Mad Cats from me. I remember I remember buying like the controller and then I remember buying the um I think I had it used though. I remember buying the steering wheel for Mad Cats. Um but yeah. They had to do something. They didn't do nothing last generation, so this is their new new controller. I don't know if yeah. it's really news, but <laughs> it's there. I mean, uh, I think so because it's it's offering like a premium product, hopefully, and I think a lot of people like the PS 5s like mm-hmm. controller like functions and stuff like that. It's probably better than the DualShock Four. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it went when asking for that a lot of money, that amount of money. I just hope that they actually make it premium because I didn't have a problem paying for the Elite controller because I felt like it was actually worth it. Like it, you touch it, you feel like the the quality of the materials and the customization that you can have, and like absolutely the software support. It felt like it was worth it, um, and I've I've loved it um, since then. Like I use the the normal controller every now and then, but. I mostly play with the Elite controller. Um, and it seems on par spec-wise with what you give the Elite controller, but if they're asking more money, I, I feel like they should be like justifying it and not just saying, because this is a PlayStation controller, so we want more money. Um, yeah. yeah. That being said, eventually there might be an Elite controller 3. Uh, I'll be interested in seeing what Microsoft can do to improve it, because it it's already a great controller and you know, it probably could get better, but yeah, I don't really know yeah. because this is the first controller that came out with a built in battery pack too. I don't really know mm-hmm. what they can do to like improve it more. Um, I really like the buttons layout. I like the, the, like the triggers being able to do like mid and just no dead dead zone. Like you could change the dead zones on like the app with the, controller settings is it's a lot for this controller like the profile settings and all that um yeah it's 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 pretty extensive especially when um when you think about it and still got it still got the 3.5 millimeter jack which I don't, <laughs> that's hilarious it do i thought it was USB-C. no the 3.5 millimeter like the headphone jack oh the, the headphone yeah, jack. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> headphone jack for both yeah, like I, I was, I'm surprised it's still around for like the headphone jack, but people still use it. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, USB C for sure. 